flying is stressful. I was complaining to my brother. He goes, you gotta go Southwest, man. That's my airline. Southwest. You pick your own seat, for those of you who might not know. When you're walking down the aisle of a Southwest airline, you can sit wherever you want. So I gave it a shot. It's too much pressure. <laughs> I would rather just be assigned a seat. Because all you want to do is sit next to a normal person. That's your goal at the end of the day. When you fly Southwest, you're literally scouting before you get on. You're seeing people get on before you and you're making notes like, oh, don't go next to that guy. Uh, I can tell by the vest, he takes his shoes off halfway through the flight. <laughs> That's the thing, because you gotta decide, you gotta split second. When you get on the Southwest flight, you're walking down, there's a line of people in front of you and you gotta walk and you gotta make a quick judgment. And once you pass someone, there's no going back. <laughs> there are people riding your ass. <laughs> you gotta go like that one, that one, that one, that one. Then you do a peek down, you're like, ah, it's loose, it's the rest of the way. And the guy behind you is like, you just stop. There must be a nightmare down there. Find what you can, find what you can. That's how quick it goes down. Then my brother said, no, you gotta pay a few extra bucks. You get on the plane first, then you can sit wherever you want. So I did that route one time too, which works. You get on, every seat's available, very nice. Problem is, these Southwest flights all sell out, so eventually somebody's gonna be sitting next to you. So now this is a whole different kind of pressure. Because now as people are coming down the aisle, depending on what they look like, I'm making myself more or less appealing to sit next to. Never do that move like I got a guy in a hunting jacket leaning over. I won't even look at him. I'm rubbing my balls, picking my nose. I'm like, what are you contemplating, guy? Take it to the back. Take it to the back. This is not happening. Then you get a nice normal lady coming down the aisle. Oh, forget. I'm practically lighting candles. I got incense going. I'm like, I do nails halfway through the flight. That's the thing too, you ever see somebody thinking about sitting next to you and then they decide not to? <laughs> How offended are you? I'm like mumbling to the lady as she's going down the aisle. I don't know what you think is down there, lady. I've been down there, there ain't nothing down there. <laughs> Every aspect of flying is stressful. Like my wife, she gave me this face cream for my birthday. It costs $50 a bottle. Right away, it comes with instructions from her. She's like, make it last, it's $50. You just need four dimes every night. Dime, 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 dime. Don't glob it on. It's not Nivea. <laughs> then I go to go through airport security. Oh, here we go. They don't want to let me through with the face cream. Uh -oh. Don't you love to when the TSA people start giving you suggestions that like aren't even realistic? <laughs> Right, like the lady looks at me and she goes, well, do you have a friend that you could call that would come pick up the face cream? <laughs> like, well, you got a friend that would do that for you, lady? A <laughs> friend's actually doing that for each other? I mean, maybe I need new friends. <laughs> I don't even have a friend that would pick me up. <laughs> I don't even know how I would make that phone call without laughing my ass off halfway through. <laughs> Seriously? I'm gonna call me friend. Hey Frank, you mind driving an hour and 10 minutes to JFK airport? You pick up my face, Frank? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll tell you when I land a week later, you drop that shit back off. <laughs> oh, you're a peach, bro. You're a peach. 